Good morning, guys. So today we are going to show you what all we bought for the RV over the past couple of months. And we are just now getting around to bringing it to the RV. So I wanna show you all what we got. It's a lot. So I bought these pillows at a little vintage store. Really cool. We got these at Walmart. We got the four stacking bowls, the four stacking plates. They're really handy because you know, the RV shapes. We got this nice cutlery. Got some matching cups. I was really, really excited about these because I found, okay, so I found this little set right here at, what was it babe, TJ Maxx? And this as well. These were, I, I believe, $4 for the mini ones. And then this was like $6. And you get a lot of pieces, as you can see. So the cool thing about this is they're so small. And we've been looking for something to fit in these drawers. These drawers are tiny. Oops, that one's full. Go to the next one. That one's got napkins in it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> But as you can see, these fit perfectly inside. Oh, and I was hoping they would. That's so great. So that'll keep everything from rattling around. And I'm gonna let Luke show you the rest of the cool stuff we got. Yeah, this is all the business end of stuff. So over here, went to Harbor Freight and found this little organizer for all my screws, wires, and any repair stuff. So that'll be pretty nice. I mean, Super look at cool. These. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And you know, think about how much you would pay for this stuff at like the container store. Yeah, you would pay good. so much more for it. So. Okay, so next we have over here, our leveling blocks that we got. And those are big ones for the dual rear tires, so. And they're actually so really heavy. Good. They are a lot heavier than I thought they'd be, but they're probably still lighter than like using wood blocks. Right, right. And we got also to, help with the sun in the cab we got these heat shield reflectors that go on the inside so these in combination with the outside white vinyl cover should work really well in both winter and summer so we can double up on insulation there oh yeah and of course you know harbor freight run you can't just leave with one thing so we bought a whole bunch of stuff that we found <laughs> tire pressure gauge that does up to 110 PSI since our tires need to have like 80 to 90 PSI. Outlet tester, a uh, little headlamp, which will be handy. Some of our side marker lights are dead, so we picked up a few of those, plus some red ones for the rear. I think all that stuff was under $10. Yeah, it was super each. cheap. Yeah. And then they had a thing going on where stuff under $10 was like an extra 30% off, so that was yeah. really cool. Got some thick nitro gloves for sewer and just projects. These are some polishing bonnets. We got a polisher over here so we can try and shine up the exterior of the RV a little bit. And this was like what, $25? Yeah. Super cheap, but it's lightweight. Yeah, it's cheap enough that if it works once, fine, you know. Right. But, and a few tarps. Always good to have just for backup, just in case we get a major leak, we can throw a tarp over the roof. And got me a bottle jack so I can change a tire if I need to. And also, I don't know if you guys have seen, but we have some water getting in in our side panel. So we drilled some holes, let it drain out, but we've been fighting rain for the last week off and on. So hopefully it's dried out well enough, but went ahead and went to the fiberglass store here in Florida and picked up some laminating resin. It's a thin polyester resin that will soak into wood and stuff really well. The hardener for that to patch the holes. We've got some white gel coat putty. And then clean up. We've got some lacquer thinner. Found this there. It's a Marine and RV oxidation remover by McGuire's. So about one bottle. We'll give that a shot with the polisher and see how well that works. Hopefully it'll I mean it anything will look better than where it is right oh, now. Oh yeah, so definitely. It'll definitely help. But Got a whole lot to do, but my main concern is before we go on our little Christmas camp, our first little practice camp, try and get those delaminated areas fixed so we don't risk having more damage. So Definitely. Yeah. And of course, stuff we've been buying over the last couple months is all the necessary RV stuff. Wheel chocks. We've got some 
this, I think these came with something we ordered. But yeah, I think so. Sewer treatment stuff. It's always nice to have. Uh, 50 to 30 amp dog bone. What, 15 amp to 30 amp dog bone? Yeah. A 30 amp circuit analyzer. We've also got our sewer hoses, fresh water hose, black water hose. Little sewer hose sidewinder thing. All this, most a lot of this is all like Camco brand that we got on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Some people have their complaints, but for the price, I mean, we'll give it a shot, and if it's no good, we'll replace it with something better. But right. most of all this stuff is all your necessary like RV must-haves. So all state in the tote. But I think overall, like it. It's expensive to buy all this stuff, mm -hmm. still have to buy it all, and then there's a lot you can easily forget about. So luckily we've had enough time to kind of see what's out there and get used to the idea of all this stuff and just shop around, be, be wise, be smart, read reviews. Um, watch lots of YouTube videos. Yeah, watch lots of YouTube videos. I'm pretty confident we have most everything we need at this point to actually go on our little practice run, so it'll be yeah. fun. So excited. That's our RV haul for the day. The next video you guys are gonna see Christmas, what? What would you call it? Our Christmas vacation first time yeah. in our RV staying overnight video. Yeah. yeah, so that'll be really fun. And we really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us and we will see you soon. Bye. Hopefully it's not as bad as the Christmas vacation movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> hopefully it's not as bad as that. Yeah, we will we'll shoot for better than that. <laughs>